joined Pete Boots at Dare to Dream Racing to take us through his runners for Hollywood Bets Kenilworth on Wednesday. Pete, in the first race, the three runners, first of them Sansa Stark, the erupt first-timer. What are you expecting from her? Uh, Vicky, yeah, she, look, she's a, a filly that I, I, I think has got quite a bit of potential in that, but I don't think that she's uh, quite ready yet. Um, this race is pretty much just going to be used as a gallop for her. Um, I'm hoping that she runs well and surprises me a little bit. Um, you know, quite concerned. We haven't been able to do much at, at home, so, um, you know, I think she's done enough groundwork and now she's going there for, for a, a, a nice gallop and um, potential. I know she's got it, but I, I just feel like she's going to be better in probably in about four, four months' time. You know, that's when we're going to see the best of her. So um, I'm really just hoping for a good run. Um, the, the, the jockeys that have worked have all come back and, and, and said that she, she's nice. So, uh, maybe she can surprise me, but um, uh, realistically, I just I just think that she's she's going to need this run quite a bit. De Janeiro, you've got Keenan aboard. She's had the experience. Is she is she best over the thousand meters? You, you know, I, I generally think that this filly uh, wants a bit more more ground, but she's got so much. Uh, pace at the moment and um, you know she needed her, her last run quite quite badly so we decided to give her another run um, again and uh, again because of not being able to do much work we decided to go the minimal trip uh, I mean she's showing so much pace at the moment in any case so she's just got such a long stride that I think she's going to eventually be a miler but um, <clears throat> for now we know let her use her pace and and see I think she's very well and I think she's a she's probably one of my my better runners for the day um, just you know we don't really know exactly how fit she is and um, the last hundred meters might might just catch her out but um, she, she's definitely a horse that's got a, a good chance and, and, and you have to include her in everything. Obukwe Bazana, Jabu aboard, uh, we know that she can be a little bit um, sort of uptight in that. Do you think going back to the thousand meters and a change of jock could could help on race day? Look, I'm 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 quite um, I'm quite sad that Keenan couldn't couldn't ride her. Um, you know, it's just that because he gets on so well with her. But um, you know, he he had to ride the Genera, and um, you know, she, she's just. I, I wanted to go 1400 with this filly, but uh, and I, and funny enough, when I went back and I looked at her form, her times over the thousand meters was actually not bad. So. Um, yeah, I just feel like I haven't done enough work with her to 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 go around the turn, and 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 that's the reason for coming back to the to the thousand meters. Um, she's she's a tiny little filly that doesn't take a hell of a lot of work. Um, you know, she she pretty much looks after herself. So, uh, Jabu has worked her and um, he, he managed her. So I just hope that he can manage her on the day because she, she's not an easy easy girl. But if he can manage her on the day, um, I think uh, she will run a good race because. Um, She's just also doesn't take a take a lot of work, so um, I, I'm not overly confident with with her. But um, I, I do think that she'll probably be in the first five. You know, that's what I'm what I'm hoping for, and that's what I'm expecting. So let's hope I'm right. Race two, you've got impressive Nessie with uh, Keenan aboard. She hasn't been at her best over the last two runs. Um, is she better than her form suggests? Vicky, I think I'm making a mistake running this filly, to be honest with you. Um, she's got a very, very low action. Um, it's just, you know, you're either sitting in the box or you, you, you're going out there and, and, and running. So her last run, she needed a, a hell of a lot, and the, and the one before that as well. And the one before, she actually ran a decent race. Last time, um, she, she banged herself in the, in the race and came back a little bit sore. So, um, you know, that, that poor run was, I think, because of that. Um, but she's not going to enjoy the, the heavy conditions. I, I think, you know, with, with her, she's going to be best when it comes to summertime again. Um, she, she's just going out and getting the experience and, you know, just, just running. But um, I, I don't really fancy her, to be honest with you. <laughs> Race three is, uh, you've got the three runners. First, then Fujisan. He goes the 1200 for the first time. Has the gelding helped and did he need his last run? Yeah, he needed his last run uh, a lot. Um, Devon got off and, and said that she... He, sorry, um, he felt quite good uh, halfway through the race, but the last 400 meters he just had enough. Um, didn't uh, hurt him, didn't punish him, didn't smack him around or anything. So um, he came back very well from that run. Um, I do think he's probably going to go further as well. So this is just a next next step, uh, you know, get, try and get that second run out the way. Um, I, I still think he's going to need this run. I don't think he's quite at his best yet. Um, 
but this is just a, another bring on run for him. Um, in saying that, um, Jabu worked him and, and was quite excited about his work. So I'm hoping that he can surprise me and I'm hoping that he's a little bit fitter than what I, than what I thought. Um, so I, I don't really know what, what to say. I, 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 he's probably a horse that you've got to put in your quartets and that. Um, just can't fancy him too strong. You've got King's Fist Race with uh, Keenan aboard. He ran well and debuted despite being a, a little bit green. Uh, could we just ignore his last run and expect a better effort? Yeah, I think so. Um, his last run, um, Keenan said that uh, he, he got a bit of interference in the race and um, he didn't respond to that uh, too well. He dug his toes in and tried to get out of it. So um, I do think that that run is best ignored. Um, I don't feel that he's quite where he should be, um, but uh, you know, if he can just improve on his on his first run, then he's got to have a have a small chance in this race. So, um, for me, again, just another horse that's got to be included in your quartets and that. But um, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not expecting a, a winning run from him. If he if he had to do that, I'll be very happy. Um, I, I'm just expecting a, to see a good run from him again. Um, so, in, in your quartets and smaller bets, yes. You've got Ponte, uh, Ponte Vecchio with uh, Keenan aboard. Uh, she comes off a good third last time. Do you think the experience will, will stand her in good stead uh, in, against a relatively inexperienced field? I think so. Um, you know, I didn't think that this filly would be a, a, a filly that would uh, enjoy the soft going, um, but she ran a, a hell of a race last time and uh, proved me wrong. So. Um, with with all the experience under her belt and, and running against so many first timers in the race, I think she's got a slight advantage in this race. Uh, I know it's not um, um, a race that's uh, you know against her own sex and all that, but um, I, I just feel like she she's got to be a big runner. The the course I know um, very heavy in the middle and she's drawn right on the outside, so it's it's not. Um, um, it's, it's not in her favour, but um, I think with her experience, maybe she's got enough uh, pace to overcome that draw. And I think she's she's got to be um, a, a big runner in this race. Race six, Women's World. Uh, she's shown good runs over the 1400 metres with the blinkers on. Do you, will she appreciate the step up to the the mile? I think she's that's exactly what she's wanting. She's wanting the mile. But another horse that uh, shouldn't enjoy the, the heavy going, um, also a long, low, flat action, so um, shouldn't really en enjoy the soft going. But um, <clears throat> I think she's a filly with a lot of potential, and she is just getting stronger. You know, she's a filly that I thought needed a bit of time, and, and that's, and she's getting stronger every time she, she, she runs. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about uh, her, her fitness. Uh, you know, we haven't been able to do much, and so she, ha she she hasn't really had any long long work, um, but I know that she will in, in enjoy the, the the mile. So I'm I'm just hoping that that last little hundred meters doesn't catch out. That's all. Race eight, the two runners, Alfred's girl, uh, Devon Ashby, up a nice lightweight and uh, drawn well over the mile. Could she finish closer up? It's now obviously her second run after a, a long rest. So I'm a firm believer in in, in second run after rest. Um, but you know, she she ran a, a, a fantastic race uh, her first run back. Um, I think she surprised a lot of us, and um, we haven't really done that much. And she's a type of filly that she's always on the go. She's always busy, so I can't see her being unfit. Um, she's just that that type of horse. Um, and for th for that reason, I'm going to ignore the second run after rest. And, and I think that she's she's got to have a good chance here. Treasure Hunt, the other runner, another filly coming off a, a bit of a rest, and I, I suspect also a bit of a delayed comeback due to the, the rain. But uh, could she come back to her best for this run? So, um, you know, if everybody in the yard thinks that that's, that's our best runner for the day. Um, I, I just, I personally believe that it's she's carrying too much weight. I, I think she's a small filly, heavy condition, 61. Um, it's not the ideal, it's not the ideal uh, race for her. Um, but uh, you know, the, the the race that there was got fell away for her. So you know, we, we have to run here, and, and she's got a wide draw to overcome as well. So I think she's going to need a, a lot of luck in the running here. And um, I, I'm hoping that uh, Keenan and everybody proves me wrong because um, Ke Keenan seems to think that she's working very well and in, in, in a very good space and, and must have a good chance. Um, I, I hope they're right. Um, I, I personally feel that um, she's going to need this run quite a bit. Pete, thank you for the comments and all the best. Thank you very much.
That's uh, Pete Puerta taking us through his runners for Hollywood Bets Kenilworth on Wednesday. And uh, as mentioned, horses have the form and ability and just hoping for the best from them.